Hello everyone and welcome to Factoria. I'm Parv and uh, today I will be playing Sibdok. In the previous episode we built this uh, block that produces uh, lots of paper and uh, I believe for today like we didn't quite finish it right because we still need to build this like wires uh, red wires and green wires so it looks like I need four assembling machines for that okay I have I need four assembling machines and I need to consume three belts three belts of stuff as the input what would be a good way of doing that let's see uh, how, how could I do it um, so we have three point four so it's basically four machines we could place them maybe here somehow. Okay, let's let's see. Let's say we have four of them like this. We need to feed since copper wire as an input. Let's say I'll be using these things for that. And we'll have another input the paper. I'll be giving them the paper as well. Oh, the thing is that we'll need to get some output, right? We'll need to get the materials out of that um, block. And the question is, <laughs> like, does it even make sense <laughs> to build it like this? So it's it's a bit too complex, right? Because the thing is, we could. Uh, have a little bit more of these machines, uh, assembly machines. But j just for fun, let's try to, to do it like this. Let's try to be a little bit efficient with the number of uh, these things. Okay, so that is basically one part. Okay, looking good. This is the green one. And we'll need kind of a similar one for red production. Where should I place it? Um, okay, and this is actually a red belt. So that means that the input... Um, okay, let's, let's, let's try to do it for real. Let's say this will be Yep, like this. This will be our paper input. Just turn it a little bit. Yeah, yeah. And good. And I want to have exactly the same thing somewhere here. Exactly the same build. Like this, right? One, two, three. We will turn this. Oh no. I misclicked. I misclicked. Okay, so now if we send a lot of uh, tin copper wire here, it should work really well. I mean, I, I don't have to make this. Uh, red one but I just <laughs> I guess like consistency of the color you could say uh, okay and here we will do something like this but it will have one so the output here is only 15 red wires Hmm. 
only 1500 wires. I want to add some chests here so that um, I can remove this part of the build. Like, there is no point in having this paper. I mean, I, I, I guess it's okay to keep it, but in theory, we could just produce all paper here and put it into like logistic network also from here. Uh, right, what, what I was doing, we needed to match this ones, right? We need to get a single belt of stuff. Oh wait, I cannot match them like this. Oh, that's a tiny problem. This doesn't work that well. Mm, what should we do? Let's come up with something uh, maybe more interesting. How about this? Yeah, I think this is better. I mean, we don't have to make it red, but we'll just do it. <laughs> and this part could also use uh, red uh, underground belts. Like this. It's barely enough space. Nice, great. Let's copy this. Paste it here, and here we have it. We finished production of um, of the wires. That's good. That's really good. Should I take it? Yeah, well, let's say we'll be unloading it from both of this. Mm. Oh, warehouses. Just to save a little bit on the... On like... We don't want these inserters to work for like, you know, no particular reason. We have the wire. Should work. Now, one thing that we are missing, we are missing this connection. So the top one, let's say the top one will be the red one. And we want a lot of red wires, where are they? Nope, nope, yeah, red wires. 50,000 of them, we want a lot of them. And let's say we are also getting some green wires. Good. So, now that we did that. One, I guess two. And maybe we should have something here. Now that we have this part uh, working, what should we focus on next? So, what I was thinking, uh, there are basically two options right now. We can either try to build this block because we have almost everything, right? We're a little bit short on naphtha. And I believe we are short on plastic bars because we don't really have a dedicated uh, plastic bar, mm, like plastic um, uh, factory city block. We, we do have uh, this one, but it's really, really tiny. It's tiny. Well, it does have 50,000 plastic, so... I, I, I guess it's okay. So let's think. Um, considering the fact that we have a lot of... Well, not, not even because there are lots of... Um, actually, it's not that many. Uh, I don't want to combine plastic with this uh, block, with purple signs. I want to have plastic somewhere else, and the question is where. So we'll have fuel oil here, we'll have naphtha here. 
in order to produce plastic, I want to use the following recipe. So there is a... A recipe... Wait, no. It, it's not about that. It's about... It's about this thing. Methane, right? So we know that we need uh, methane. However, I believe that methane, when when we are getting it, we, we we don't want to use this process because it requires natural gas liquids, and um, th th that's like blue algae. I, I don't want to use that one. However. We can use this process, right? And from synthesis gas, we could get methane, ethane, and butane. This is also bad because uh, it also uses natural gas liquid. So we don't really have a choice. We have to use uh, this process if we don't want to depend on blue algae. And for that, we need synthesis gas. And synthesis gas can be produced from fuel oil. And, and sorry, and we'll have a block of fuel oil here, right? So it will be loaded on this, um, like, with this uh, station and then it will be sent somewhere. It will probably go here, then up. Okay, let's uh, put the spot a little bit. Just a little bit. So it will go... Um, let me just press this thing a little bit. So that we can clear the area by us. Right. This is looking pretty good. So they will uh the trains will go here, go up, and then they can drop stuff either in this block, in this block or in this block. Mm. Ideally, I'd like it to be as close to resin as possible. I'd like plastic to be as close to resin. So maybe one of these blocks. So deliveries from here should be straightforward. Right? Change just goes here and drops stuff somewhere there. We also want to make sure that it can be delivered to purple signs. But that's easy, right? Because it just needs means that if, for example, we drop it here, then the chain can just load stuff, make like a turn, and drop thing. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's have plastic here. I think we decided on that. We'll have uh, lots of uh, plastic. Plastic will be here, and maybe what's even more important is the fact that we'll have uh, methane. Methane. Methanol. Methane. This one, I think. It will also be produced in this block. Well, it looks like it's pretty much decided for us. Uh, because this block is uh, not actually landfilled yet. That means that we cannot produce it. Like, we cannot uh, design and build it today. That means that we will have to... We'll have to focus on purple science, I think, instead. Okay, let's say that we are interested in tin copper wire. Yeah. Did that. And that should be it. Well, almost. Because this one is green. So this recipe is supposed to be for the green wire. Oh, wow. That wasn't good. <laughs> right, and I want to say output priority right. I want to say output priority left. So that we can drop this thing somewhere. Uh, what's the problem here? Why? 
it's not working. So we have a lot of black liquor. Let's get converted into green liquor. Green liquor is getting converted. Oh right, I remember. I didn't finish it, right? Because we need to feed stuff from here over here. So how do we do it? Like this, I think, right? Okay, now it should actually work fine. Yep. Awesome. Let's try and build this part. Well, first of all, I think now we are using a slightly different approach. We are connecting things slightly differently. It's okay. I feel it's gonna be a bit tricky to... Well, maybe not. Let's start with something simple. We need... like this is our input. Okay, this is our output. And on the output we want 28 assembling machines. Hmm. Maybe I should use this machines and then it's just 18. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Uh, like this looks better. The input is really tiny. It's an one belt basically. Okay, we need 18, right? Uh, that's too much. Let's go for 20. Nice. And I might actually... I probably want to move it. It's like shifted by two, maybe? I mean, we are not shot in space, we can shift it by three, I think. Yeah, let's do, let's do it like this. So this is our output. Mm. Okay, let's say this is output. Let's say we'll be providing some input here. So this will be input. We need to... build these two things. Create by a processor and um, what I called computer case. Interesting. I also don't remember any of this, <laughs> even though I must have built it at some point in like 017 when I played, uh, like last time I played C block. Well, not last time, uh, last time I finished C block. Okay, let's just do it like this. Very simple, very straightforward. Doesn't require much thinking. Actually, we don't even need this one, I think. Yeah, this is looking pretty good. This part, done. Now, we need to get a lot of red wires. And we'll have to produce fuel by processor. And this part, It's also interesting because the amount of tin plates it's it's kinda large, right? 25 tin plates per second, but at the same time. Oh no. It, it is large. It's really large. And we have basically three red belts. Of this, this and this. And how can we fit three belts? 
I also have sulfur dioxide gas. Interesting. A really uh, interesting. So we gotta start with one of this, but we could either start with this one. This process that actually looks to be relatively straightforward. Why why do we have this thing? I don't think we need it. Um I actually want to just remove it. We don't need this one. I, I guess it was needed for tin copper wire but uh, we don't actually use tin copper wire here right we just uh, uh, request this wires red and green wire directly you know this is um, let's see is this thing enabled yes it's really important to make sure that uh, uh, this combinator is enabled because they are setting lock slots per wagon um, setting Okay, we need a tiny bit of charcoal. I'm not sure I want to request charcoal, maybe I'll just belt it from here. Or from here, maybe belting a little bit of charcoal from here would be better. Yeah, I think I'll just belt charcoal from here. It's not exactly the greatest um, thing <laughs> but yeah that's how we'll, we'll be getting charcoal for this build to hit this uh, still furnaces okay so let, let, let's say we'll have this things built below we need 16 of them right 16. Could build them here, I think. Is it 8? Oh, it's 12. This is 8. 8. Okay. So, let's do it like this. We need to get not a lot of red wires and a mix of activated bio, pay, bio paste and processing units. So let's do it. We'll basically have we don't have to have two lines of inserters, but let's do it like this. Let's, I want to do it like this. <laughs> This will be our input, and we'll be placing stuff here. Slot. Honestly, we don't even need to do it. This we could just not make it two times longer. Yeah, let's just do it like this. Let's just make the stuff two times longer. And the, the good part uh, of this is that <laughs> we'll have a lot of free space in this block. Because as, it, as it's turning out, um, the block doesn't really require that much. I thought it's gonna need more stuff, but it doesn't seem to be the case. Let's request materials. What do we actually need? We need... Okay, let's start with something simple. We need tin, lead, Gold. Okay, let's say we're asking for tin. Lead. Right, lead. Gold. Gold plates. What else we need? We will need to produce sulfur dioxide gas, and for that we'll need to produce, well, request lots of sulfur, but let, let's uh, do it later. Steel plates. We need steel plates. Let's get them. 
battle pads will be here. We also need to... We also need a red and green wires. Right. We will have to get some red circuits. Um, sorry, green, red and blue. Red, green, red and blue. Wow, that's you know, a lot already. Let's see. So we have this material also here. We'll need sulfur. Have everything else. We'll need plastic. We'll need plastic and monosilicon. So let's say here we'll be requesting sulfur. We also need plastic and we need. No, actually, the other way. Let's say we'll be requesting monosilicon. What is it? This one? Monosilicon. This one will be plastic. This one will be sulfur. I believe we are missing only methane and naphtha. Is that correct? Have sulfur. Um, let's fix the recipe. So instead of uh, dealing with sulfur dioxide, we actually want sulfur. And oxygen, yeah, we'll, we'll kind of produce it in place. It should be not very hard. Oh, okay, that will take some space, but it's really tiny numbers that we're talking about. Sulfur, we'll, we'll need sulfur, right? What am I doing here? I'm actually trying to understand how many materials I need. One, two, th okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I need fourteen. Of this. Fourteen. Okay. Um, before we forgot about that, before we forgot, let's ask for Naphtha. We'll need a lot of naphtha, actually. Um, not this naphtha. We need barrels. Naphtha. And we need to ask for methane. Methane. Bottled methane. This one. So... I, I don't know about asking for 200. If I ask 200 stacks, Hundred stacks times twelve. I think it's a lot. Um, because one warehouse allows us basically to get seven hundred stacks. So in total, we have four hundred. Well, we have fifteen uh, hundred stacks, and we are asking fourteen. So at most, at most, we can ask for 100 stacks. But that means that stack thre uh, threshold here has to be like lower. Let let's let's ask for 100 uh, stacks of uh, each, and uh, let's hope that <laughs> it will get delivered. there almost nice um one thing that we forgot actually why are we doing it now we are doing it because we cannot uh build this block 
So I, I, I'm actually very, very interested in, uh, in like designing plastic block and need to make sure that our like robots are actually busy with the right things. Okay, nice. So this part will be uh, built slowly and we need to clear this area from Bytos as well, right? Okay, let's do this. This part. Let's say we don't need anything anymore. And we want to... Well, actually, what I want, I want to landfill this area. But I'm not sure. Uh, I kind of have a feeling that the swarms will not allow us to properly do that. So we need to be a little bit careful. Let's do it like this. I, I might have to cancel, actually, you know what? Let me cancel this uh, things right now. I, I don't want to lose robots for, like, bad reasons. Let's put it like this. I'm okay with losing some robots, like, once in a while, if it's... if it actually serves, like, some purpose, but this is just waste. Just waste. Nice. Uh, let's uh, get back to our purple signs. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What's going on here? We have not connected things. We need to connect this thing to the input and this one to the... What are we losing? should work. I think there were just some there were just some issues. And we definitely need this uh, power in order to be able to actually wait why why did I do it like this? Shouldn't I just jump things a bit? You know what? Um let me first fix this part. So we'll be using just long handed inserters. And that stuff, the output here is... Oh, wait, we have some... It produces sulfur. This build is sulfur positive. We don't need sulfur. Uh, let's cancel it before it actually comes. It, it seems like this build is actually sulfur positive. We just need a little bit of it to prime the whole process, but uh, that's it, that's basically it. Interesting. It's kind of great, actually. So purple signs will be producing sulfur. Um, let's assume it's like coming from naphtha or from methane, actually. Because we don't have kind of enough charcoal. Like the way I like to think about sulfur is that sulfur is like equivalent to charcoal in a way. Because you have like lots of choices in the game where you can spend like more charcoal, for example, using charcoal filtering, and you are getting sulfur. Like your process becomes sulfur positive. But when you are using uh, like uh, another filtering, that doesn't like need charcoal, then it actually can be like sulfur negative. Right, what is going on here? Ah, uh, no, okay, whatever. This part, let's figure out what we are doing here. So, I want to turn this. No, wait. I cannot flip it. 
but okay, no. a bit sad, I guess. Okay, we'll flip it like this. I'm flipping it. And we'll find a better uh, spot for it at some point. For now, I just want to have, like, you know, some idea of uh, what uh, will be happening here. Wrong. Right, I want it to look like this. Okay, nice. So we have the process that takes lots of stuff as the input on the input side, and it will be returning, it will be producing a mix of waste byproduct and this thingy killed by a processor. Actually, uh, I'll need to use both sides of the belt because we actually producing a lot of waste byproduct and I kind of wasn't aware of the scale of that part. Okay. So, how do we proceed from here? Let's say I'll place this stuff somewhere Right? Now, what we need? We need 15 red wire. We need lots of red wire. I just want to get it from here. We'll get a lot of red wire. Kinda from like a little bit in a... You know, it will reach us in a slightly roundabout way. But uh, it should be there. Okay, we have electricity here. We have electricity here. Power poles. Power poles are a problem. It's, it's okay. So this will be red wire. Okay. Wait, are you missing this? Looks like we're missing some power poles. But that is fine. Nice. Now. We built. We need 16.7, and we have 16. Okay, that's not enough. That is not enough. Let's add two more. So now we have 18. This should be enough. We also need to produce activated bio paste and processing units. That's another thing that we need here, right? So this should actually be a, a mix of um, two things, of processing units that we can also get from this side. Let's think. We'll get processing units. Let's actually do it right now. Get them here. I am. I'm not sure whether I should balance this or not. I don't think I'll be balancing like everything that is below uh, yellow belt, but like this one, two, three, and plastic four should probably be balanced. And still, well, probably. But electronic circuits, blue, uh, blue circuits. Red circuits, they don't need to be balanced at all. I'm not sure about red wire. Red and green wire. We could uh, adjust it later, at any moment. Right? We could just fit some bells here and uh, make it a bit nicer, I guess. So it should not really be an issue. Here yeah, we need a red one. Right, that's... So that's what we are waiting, uh, like aiming to get on the side. The side will have a mix. We'll have a mix of blue circuits, and we'll have a mix of this stuff. 
Oh, well, wait, this stuff, that's what we need. We need 6.8, so essentially 7. Eight. 8. 8. 9. Okay. So we, are, we want to receive 8 of this and the required charcoal and biosilicate extract. And the extract we could produce from this side. Uh, right? charcoal coming here and we need charcoal to fit these things so let's say the input um, let's say the outputs will be from that side and the input will come from this side but that means that we need to I guess mix it a little bit yeah we need to mix charcoal with uh, whatever else uh, this particular uh, this process requires as the input right let's do it so we have one two three four pairs good and they're producing some output however they actually need uh, we, we built this process now we need six chemical plants with a lot of inputs, including methane. We could actually build it here somewhere, I think. This looks like a nice spot. We could have this part. Uh, let's give some space. We could have this thing actually delivering well, not deliver, it will be producing one. Okay, interesting, because it needs 20 steel. Maybe we should turn it a little bit. Maybe we should do it like this. One, two, this. So we have six. chemical plants which requires how, how much steel 20 divided by 6 it's like 4 4 steel per second I probably want to do something like this here want to use um, this kind of build for that so this uh, should deliver enough steel for basically whatever we need to do here we have steel we'll have methane coming in we also need plastic let's say we'll have another belt of plastic and we'll need a belt with a combination of monosilicon and electronic circuits. Right, so let's say we'll have a belt of uh, plastic here, and we'll have a belt of an another thing. Um, okay. Do I need to do anything else? I think I I need to do and, uh, I need to use underground here in order to. Well, actually, I don't have to use underground. I could just turn it like this, and it will work. So this will be inputs. 
Inputs. Inputs. Nice. Look at that. This is blue sockets. Uh, what are blue sockets? Yeah. Yep. So blue sockets. Nice. And they're getting delivered there. We need steel, and we need lots of steel. So let's uh, actually before we send too much stuff there, maybe we should first focus on gold, tin, lead, and steel. Right? We we have four of this already. So four, and here one, two, three, four. them. Well, not mix them. How should we get them? Okay, so this will be... They're kind of coming from this side, right? How can we use it, use them in like a nice way? This will be green circuits. Oh, not green circuits. Uh, green wires. What's what's wrong? Why? Right, there is no connection. I think. I hope we will not get timeout for this deliveries. What I'm thinking about, I'm actually thinking about letting this come from the side here. Or maybe I could use this ones for the fluids. Yeah, maybe this is better. Maybe we could have this uh, for the fluids. We are still a little bit short. And we will still be a tiny bit short on things. It's okay, we'll figure something out. And we could get circuits maybe from above. We'll see. Uh, right, for now, what I need? I need monosilicon and electronic circuit. Yeah, I feel like this have to come from above. Because we'll have green circuits coming from there. I, I'm trying to balance the load uh, from the warehouses. That, that's the idea, to balance the load. And we require more red wires. So this requires more. It's required 2.5, it's the same as this amount. So if we take green circuits from above, we'll kind of be in a good spot, I think. Let's, uh, let's move this over. And let's maybe mix um, monosilicon and electronic circuits. And we'll get plastic from this side. Right, this is steel. What is our steel? Steel. Nice. Should do it like this. So we have steel. I want steel to be delivered here as well. And we could just uh, get it like this, I think. So this is our steel. And it's coming here. We need 20 steel, it's balanced. The use of steel is balanced. This part, um, I'm not sure. This one could be actually no. Wait, this is plastic. This one, I think we said it's a green one. It's a green wire. Okay. We want plastic 
go here. I'll just use this one. Oh no, it's not quite enough. That's slightly unfortunate. Enough, okay. Right, that's our plastic. It's coming here. And we need a mix of uh, two things actually. We need a mix of electronic circuits and monosilicon. So two things. And we'll get them. We'll get them from here. So here we will mix them like this. Get this. Now just a matter of like, you know, <laughs> waiting for materials to appear. This was plastic, unless I'm mistaken. I think it's plastic. This plastic. Why? I don't see plastic here. It's... It's really confusing. This loader. something wrong why I, I don't see plastic anymore I don't understand it Better cam. did we lose plastic seriously okay I, I I honestly don't know what's going on with the game. I, I don't know how we managed to, to lose plastic of all things. It's... Um, it got to be because of the update of the mods. There's no way we could you know, lose it <laughs> due to any other reason. Right, we'll, we'll get it fixed. It's okay. We also need to have a couple more things. Leave it here. And maybe, yeah, maybe we should... If I remove five of this. No, we'll, we'll remove this mini and we'll play so long about. Let's see, what are we actually trying to uh, get here? We want to make this stuff work, except I don't want this connection because it will it will break everything, as usual. So it tends to happen with wires now. Everything will break if we are not very careful with uh, what exactly uh, we are doing. Okay, this is looking good enough. So we have power connection leading to this part. This is not needed. We... I believe I wanted to flip the sides here. Okay. Okay, nice. So, now... What are we missing? <laughs> What are we missing? We have this spot built, right? We have 5.6. Uh, they're kind of here. There is like a tiny problem with this, uh, with what's going on here. And that is uh, 
the fact that we don't actually have uh, methane or what's needed? Methane, right? We don't have methane here yet, but it shouldn't really be a huge problem. What we can do, we can um, change this part actually. We can ask for monosilicon and electronic circuits, right? So let's make this electronic circuits, and this will be monosilicon. Nice. Good. It's done. We'll come here, and this one will have plastic once we research it. I hope other filters didn't break. I really do. So, this part. No, not, not, uh, yes. Red circuits, they require plastic, right? And this does have the filter. Interesting. I mean, it's good. It's good that it's working, but it's also a bit strange. So we build this part. We need to use this last piece of the puzzle. So let's add something like this, and we'll set filter here. Well, it's actually not needed. So we will not be able to start this production um that's that soon okay. one two We'd like to get methane. Uh, would we? No, let's say we'll be getting methane here. Methane. Bottled methane. And here we'll be asking for naphtha. 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 So, methane. We'll go like this. Oh, sorry, up they will go like this, and methane will go here. So this is naphtha. Could you make it a little bit nicer? Let's do it like this, and this one. Um, it's a little bit tickier, right? This one could be delivered like this. Let's go here. Methane. We'll get it from... Okay. And from Naphtha. One is still enough. That's good. One barrel and pump. We need one barrel and pipe for methane. We can place it here. I think. Yep. And we'll need to uh, get uh, the bottles, basically, whatever. We'll need to get the bottles uh, from this thing and deliver it somewhere. So we. Uh, haven't forgot about uh, haven't forgotten about that, right? Now this stuff will go here like this. We are producing biosilicate extract here. Wait, here silicate extract. We are we are producing it here. And we are delivering it to the 
Oh, no, it's this. Okay, nice. This is also built. Now, we need to build this part. Uh, let's maybe try to build it like here in parallel, or... Well, we'll try, we'll see how it goes. And, uh, right, one other thing. The output is created by a processor and some ways by product. So we want to send to the right this stuff, the bioprocessor, it will go to the right, and to the left will have waste by product. Now, another thing that we'll need to produce, we'll need to produce water cold thingy, this one. That requires kind of same amount of stuff to be on, well, now it's not the same. How do we do it? Let, let's think. They have a lot of inputs. Right, let's do it like this. Let's not merge these things. So we'll need three things here. We'll need gold, lead, and tin. Let's let's request. Let's say this is tin. Uh, what is tin? Tin, lead, and gold. So three things. And the other one also requires uh, tin, lead, and gold. So we basically have um, three lines of these materials. How can we feed all three? It's a little bit uh, complicated, I think. So let's say we have a line of this. And we are trying to figure like out some way of feeding this. If we place inserters here, they will be delivering stuff from this row. Then we can place inserters here and here. Okay, right, right. Okay, now I see. That's basically how uh, we are gonna do it. The only, well, not the only, but the main problem is that it'll be tricky to get the output from this. Yeah, it's gonna be tricky. I don't like it. So what we'll do, we'll delete this part. We'll move it a little bit further. We'll turn the thing. And we'll have a little bit of space for power pole. I guess here or even there. Now, this covers only one, two, three, three inputs. We also need to get protective chip enclosure. And I think we can get it from like middle lane, from here. And this one could be output. No, the bottom one will be output, this will be input, let's say. And we'll figure out what to do with it uh, a little bit later. Right, so what's going on here? This is output, so, yeah. 
place and stuff there. And that one is input, so we need to take stuff from there, but we don't actually need to make it go that far, or do we? I, I don't want to think too much about uh, how these things uh, would like. Um, I don't want to think too much how to place uh, both power poles and allow like some space for underground uh, pipes to connect because I, I want to have two rows of these things. And I feel like this way it might be uh, a little bit easier to achieve what we want to. Uh, let, let's see, so first of all, we researched plastic and now we should be able to apply a filter. Okay, we have it. We are adding on the ground belt and this stuff will be getting lots of plastic. Why it, it's not getting green circuits? That's the question. So I thought we requested green circuits. Yeah, we, we did. Do we like have a shortage of green circuits? That would be really strange, but it actually might be the case. It's kind of strange. Zoltian telling us um, Zoltian is telling us that we don't have enough electronic circuits Okay I, I'm a bit confused why that's the case but uh, it's, it's fine, it's not a huge deal Now Let's remove this blinking thing. This part needs to be long inserter. This also needs to be long inserter. So both of these are long inserters. Um, this one is long inserter. This one is long inserter as well. Right. So here. We are taking stuff from here and placing stuff there. Spot, we flip it vertically like this, and uh, I believe it should work mostly. <laughs> uh, how do we do it? Okay. Let's um, So this is one input that we want to get, this is another one, and this is a third one. We'll just connect them directly. Okay, nice. So now we have everything delivered here. Oh, I think I want the connection over there so that it can be kind of connected here. So we have pretty much uh, everything set up the way we want, except, except, we want 
to have how many we want to have 16 so we want five copies of this one two three four five and we should have 20 instead of 16 yes that's correct and we want to have some connection uh here like this all right Actually, make it a little bit nicer. Um, or not. Like this, yep. So, and we'll have Naptha. Uh, this stuff needs Naptha, right? Yes, this is Naptha, and we are getting Naptha. The only part that's missing is methanol here. So, wait, where is the monosilicon? Oh, right, that's the problem. Um, I said I want this to be long arm insert, right? So this is long, 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 long. Nice. So now, now, everything's actually looking good. This part is missing only methane. This one will work, it'll produce something. It will be consumed here. It will be delivered to this side. And we are missing a second part. So, second part is actually this output. No, wait. Yes, because we, we produced this one. So that's the output that we are interested in. And the thing is that it's actually a mix of what we care about and sulfur. But this is the stuff that we care about. And it itself is missing protective chip enclosures let's build them wait that's not what we did oh is it yes that's what we built and it's not naphtha that is needed here that's my bad it's not not that we need, so let's uh, maybe not do anything with this part yet. We need uh, the other thing. We need sulfuric uh, sulfur dioxide gas, which is produced. So there are two things, two things that are needed. We need this part, protective chip enclosure, that does require naphtha. So. And we'll build it uh, from this side, I think. That's how we want to do it, right? We have plastic coming from below. We could also send plastic from above from this part, so that plastic usage is uh, at least balanced, right? So we can have plastic coming from here. We can actually merge this two. into a single red belt and that's probably what I want to do actually how should I do it nicely though I think something like this so it will be doing something along all these lines that's our plastic and well plastic and grid no, not green wire. Yes, plastic and green wire. We also need a little bit of advanced circuits. Then we'll have problems actually loading the stuff or, or not. We'll figure that out. We need uh, advanced circuits and... Uh, I mean, let's just do it here it might be not the best uh, way but since we are using them above like somewhere here it's probably not gonna be that bad right say we want six of this right and we give 
it into a bit more space. And, and that's the only output. So let's place output here. That's interesting. It, 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 it actually kind of looks nice. Was the chili the only output that we needed? Yeah, it seems so. Okay, so that's output, and we need six of these things. Here, yeah, six of them. We want to feed them with a lot of materials, or at least some of the materials uh, are needed in pretty large quantities. And we can achieve this like this. Right? That's basically this uh, red belt. In addition to it, we need, we need a little bit of advanced circuits. Um, so let's say advanced circuits will be coming from here. From here. And uh, we'll just do it like this. Nice. One thing that's missing, we're actually missing Naptha. And we can get it easily if we do something on these lines, right? Inserters. Of inserters. And we need to power it. One, two, three. Should probably be enough. Now, we know that we are missing basically just Naphtha here, which we can very, very easily uh, get. Right? We just something like this and we have nothing being extracted from barrels we'll need to send um, some stuff over I hope yeah we'll still have connection that's good so we'll need to return uh, this part which we can do like this I think Yep. How many do we need? We need like we 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 can do it with just one belt, right? But I don't want to use only one belt for that. Actually, I want to use like two belts. I I want to have a. I, I want to you know, return this thing separately, like completely separately, because uh, otherwise, like using different bots, because otherwise it might be a, bit, a little bit uh, harder to uh, place, like, feel. Well, that's the thing, we should never block the output. Maybe I should really merge them into one. You know what, I'll just merge them into one belt, and we'll be sending um, one belt over. Sh should be fine. Should be fine. Let's see, we miss electricity because this power pole is missing. Why we don't have tin? That's the question. We requested tin. I will like shot on team how could we be shot on team oh yes we don't have him and him is produced or supposed to be produced here right here we are producing tin maybe it's just used by something else it's okay we like, <laughs> don't really have <laughs> A lot of uh, you know extra capacity uh, in our base right now. It's not in 
like the best state. Let's put it like this. So this is supposed to be a red circuit. Advanced one. Nice. And it should be getting delivered here. Naptha will also be delivered there. That's good. This is just some output that we can directly send over here actually. Without really checking anything, I'm just unconditionally accepting all of that stuff. And we might. Oh, that's bad. Right, but we can easily fix it. That is the main output, the purple signs. And we are not. <laughs> we are not actually producing it. In uh, huge quantities, so we don't really need to balance it. I think. <laughs> How many? Five. <laughs> Five purple signs per second. Uh, we don't have any products here. Nice, and we also need to deliver, like, figure out what to do with the extras. Right, this thing. This is actually. Does it give us? This part is giving us what we care about plus sulfur, right? So what we want to do? We want to split sulfur out here somewhere. And uh, No, not like this. We want to do it like this. We want to have a requester chest with the sulfur. It will be pretty much full most of the time, except uh, from the very beginning. Like in the very beginning, it will not be full. And if you want to take that stuff, let's, let's, fix, this. let's fix this one first. like this. So we want to take uh, some sulfur and we want to convert it into what? We need 3.4 liquefiers. Let, let, um, let's do this. So we have printed... Yeah, the, the episode is uh, turning out to be a little bit uh, long, but we are like so close having it um, working properly, like having everything working properly actually. We're like almost there. We need three, right? No, we need four of this. Four of this. We can we can we can do this. So we have four. Actually do something like this. Right? And now we need the connection to fit it there. Okay. So this part needs to use this part will be using uh, sulfur a lot, and we basically build this part, and we need to give it a little bit of oxygen so we can actually we are producing 300 uh what's this nitrogen right we are producing 300 nitrogen that means that we'll need two flash stacks however i think This is not great. Let's do it like this. This might actually make maybe more sense. Okay. So we got this 
things. We need to connect oxygen with the pipe and kind of deliver it here. So we have oxygen being produced. Now, we also need a lot of air filters. Can we improve our air filters? Air filter 3. Do we have it? Uh, well, we do. And we can even build it. No, what? Well, let, let's do it. Um, let's switch to air filter 3. In which case, we need only 8 of this. This is good. Well, <laughs> I don't know. Wait, it's like how many? Six. It's looking a little bit, uh, <laughs> you know, slightly strange, I guess, but. Uh, let's do it. This one, three, four, five. I've connected all that stuff, and we're missing just two uh, fly stacks. So we'll place fly stack here to get it of uh, this nitrogen, but it's not gonna be enough. So we need to copy it, and I guess place it here. I mean, there are lots of options, but uh, this works as well, right? Mm. Right. Now, we want to... It actually covers it. We want to request a little bit of uh, sulfur, just a tiny bit, to start the process, let's say. 10 sulfur. We could even request from buffer chest. Doesn't. Well, we don't need to, but we could. Because it's just for starting this whole process up. Uh, up. And once it started, we will have excess sulfur. That we need to figure out what to do with it. What. How I want to do that, I want to add a condition to export sulfur only if we have like really a lot of it. Actually do it, yeah. Right, so we'll have a condition and we'll be exporting sulfur only if we are like producing lots and lots of it. So this will be uh, giving us some sulfur and we probably want to send it over there. Actually. Right, that's interesting. Because we need to give the station a priority. And I don't want to think too much about priority. Let's say like, it needs to be like the highest priority. Because we need to um, get rid of the sulfur really, really quickly. Are we using sulfur for anything? I don't want it to be stuck on sulfur. I don't want it to be stuck on sulfur. We could add a warehouse here. But um, I'm not sure, in theory, this warehouse should also kind of amortize the thing. Yeah, we don't need to do like extra buffer because we already have a buffer uh, in here in the chain. Nice. And I believe this build should work now. All right, we are missing air filters. We got uh, built air filters. And we also need to finish the episode really, really soon, because we've been doing this for a while. 
Right, this is this is awesome place for a filter. So filter, there it is. Yay. Okay, now that all this working. Are they doing their thing? Oh, one thing that I need to check. I forgot to check it earlier. I want to make sure that the gardens are being produced. Okay, great. We actually have uh, a little bit uh, excess of uh, these gardens, temperate gardens. That is actually good. That this stuff is working, I just need to figure out how to scale it. Like if I copy it, will it still be what oh I don't have space there. Okay, too bad. Too bad. The important part, the important part, is that we should be getting this relatively soon. Yes, we already, almost have them already. Now, here, we need to send water-cooled stuff to the right. Water-cooled, this one, it's going to the right. The excess, well, the sulfur will go to the left. And I said I want to have a connection here and send it only if the amount of sulfur that we have is our sulfur. Yeah. Is more than 1000. So, in this case, I want to send sulfur over there. Otherwise, I, I just want the stuff to be, you know, working uh, as it is. We require tin and gold. We should get both tin well we should get tin at some point we will get gold as soon as i allow gold to be consumed because we actually disabled gold uh, experts here as you might uh, remember so let's say you know, like okay with only 10 stacks of gold being present here have. So let's see. What do we actually have? We have this one that is um, grabbing some. Okay, these are wrong trains. <laughs> these are not the trains that we actually wanted. Um, okay, let's let's see. Let's take a look what's what's happening here. We are missing, like we are really missing uh, methane. And tin for some reason. Once, oh, oh, look at this. This is bad. Let's assume that that part will work uh, correctly now that we enabled gold. That it will actually reach um, purple science block. But one thing that we are missing here, and it's kind of obvious now, is we need to add a filtering. Yeah, we probably want to start placing stuff on two sides of the belt just because, uh, like, just due to the amount of uh, outputs that we're getting. Well, actually, it's not a lot. And we only need to clear this thing. Move this one temporarily. And. I want to do something along those lines. Gold and sulfur dioxide. Let's take a look. Are we, are we getting gold? Finally getting gold? This one, yes, we are getting gold. 
So it means that uh, I can actually stop and disable that station again because I'm not sure what else requires gold. Okay, nice. I will get uh, like lots of bottles. That's good. Let's disable it. We disabled gold station. But now we have gold uh, on the purple signs yeah. and the tin, what is consuming tin, Stereo. tin, is it really tin copper wire? I'm, I mean it, it does make sense, it does make sense that we need uh, to deliver lots of tin there, okay that's okay. We'll get some tin here at some point, I hope. But uh, we should probably um, make some improvements to our builds. Right, here, what I wanted. This thing is called protective chip enclosure. And I want to send it to the right. So protective chip enclosure, this one, will go to the right. And... Uh, other oh, oh, oh not like this well i guess like this the waste stuff will go to the left and we also have some waste coming from this side i'm not sure whether it's the same kind of waste or not because we have two types of waste by product one from here so it's like one waste coming from above and another waste is coming from from here right one and two sources of waste. Okay. Honestly, it's not too bad. We'll just add some processing, like right here, essentially. You know, or maybe on both sides. Just add some processing of the waste and we'll load stuff in these warehouses. And it should be working fine once we do that. Let's see. Oh, wait. Right. It's okay. <laughs> it is okay. You can actually add like request a chest and fit the stuff. Yeah. Specifically protective chip enclosures, just so that we don't have uh, access of them. It's fine. Right. I actually would like to stop uh, at this point because we cannot really like fully finish production of this, uh, well, not production, we, we, we cannot fully finish this build because we don't have uh, methane, we, we, don't, we don't have this stuff, bottled methane gas, and we want to build it um, in, like right here, so we should probably focus on this uh, in the next episode, and once we do that, we should have like really good production of plastic because we'll have plastic produced here and a really good production of uh, methane. It will eat all of our naphtha that we have uh, accumulated here. So all of this naphtha will be gone. However, our plan is to remove the naphtha at some point. It will produce... We want to produce a fuel oil in here and we want to take it and uh, produce naphtha. Yeah. And actually, this this fuel oil is needed for this naphtha. Well, for new naphtha. So maybe, okay, and the deliveries are clockwise. 
So maybe specifically for this plastic, maybe we want a separate fuel, fuel oil build to have even more of it so that you can power the plastic. And then we can scale plastic a lot, we can have lots of it, and we'll have lots of fuel oil, and this fuel oil will become dedicated to the snapfer. Um, let's actually mark this thing with fuel oil, so that we don't forget about it. I don't think I'll actually be building this block, but we might need it we might need it because i didn't count like i didn't this thing with um mineral or not mineral thermal water uh, fission for lubricant and base mineral oil fuel oil and naphtha was calculated specifically like just for just for this part what's needed here because we need naphtha here we need Fuel oil, well, not the snapshot, like the other. <laughs> it's like a bit confusing. Uh, we needed lots of uh, naphtha, a little bit of fuel oil, but I didn't calculate and didn't account for this like 26 of plastic. And as it turned out, we'll actually be relying on synthesis gas, which will come from the fuel oil. Right, let's double check. Synthesis gas. This one can come from fuel oil. Awesome. Exactly. So we'll be using this process. And we'll be producing synthesis gas in this block because this process with uh, the production of methane and plastic will also have synthesis gas. Oh, sorry, not synthesis, but the residual gas as a byproduct. So as you can see here, we have. We are producing plastic and we have like lots of residual gas. And this one actually is not producing residual gas, is it? Or maybe it is all. No, this is just we are taking it in order to help with some process somewhere. Okay, right, so what I want to do here, I want to ask for this stuff. Yeah, let's just feed all of this. Okay. I believe that's it for this episode. Thanks everyone for watching. I think today we made lots of progress. We built, well, designed and built this uh, purple science thingy. Actually, ended up having lots of free space. It's okay. It's not perfect, it's like getting a little charcoal. By the way, we need to say that the majority of the charcoal is going to the right because this is the primary build and this is just excess. But I think it's not that bad, especially considering that this build with paper is basically exists to power this one. Oh, I know why, uh, why we are shot in tin, because we are consuming a lot of tin uh, Thingy, tin wire, tin copper wire. That's that's the reason. How many? We have delivered. We have lots of it already. Okay. This was a great episode. Thanks everyone for watching. This is episode 142. And I hope to see you in the next one. Cheers!